One way to sample for earthworms is to conduct a flip and strip. To do the flip and strip method, all you need to do is flip rocks, logs, and leaves, strip bark, and just generally hunt around for worms. This method is best for finding litter or soil dwelling earthworms. However, you may also find some deep burrowing earthworms. Watch as Dr. Kamen demonstrates how to perform a flip and strip to sample for earthworms. One more way of sampling for earthworms is to walk around and look under leaves and logs and it's just a quick way of determining if there are any earthworms present. So in this case I could flip this log here and then look for earthworms. When you flip a log you need to be quite ready to look for earthworms that second because they do move away fairly quickly. So here I got one, and uh, a hole from It doesn't look like there's any other earthworms under this log. Sometimes there's also worms in the soil attached to the log because some earthworms like to feed on decaying wood as well. Now that you have seen how to perform a flip and strip, consider the following questions. What are the advantages of sampling for earthworms using the flip and strip method? And how is the sample area in the flip and strip method different from the sample area and other earthworm collection methods?